what's up guys, it's Drak, and today we are reviewing these. These are the Alien Menace Foam Blade Weapons. Now in the past I've been pretty critical of these uh, as they've come out because they were being handled by a separate subsidiary. They were not being made by Hasbro directly, they were being made by a company called Perpetual Play Group, and I was not a big fan of realistically any of their products, and I was pretty vocal about that. However, Hasbro has changed over to working with Jazzwares to provide some of their foam and accessories. So we have both of these, these are both Alien Menace style uh, weapons, so for the aliens to fight Bex. This is the foam maul axe. This is the foam blade. So this is more of a dagger and this is kind of a hatchet, but semantics aside, both of them come with these little paracord wraps. That's a nice touch. I think that that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if they're just looped around foam and it appears that they are. So these are not like stress holding. Uh, they're, they're more just for like attaching them to belts or, or what have you. I guess you could tie them to blasters if you really, really want it. But the alien menace melee weapons are an axe and a dagger now as we flip them over we can see that this one says aliens are battling their way through the universe searching for worlds to conquer who will be next <laughs> not earth um and the same on the reverse so we've got the skitters on the back uh rocking a ravager and i think this was called the incisor uh neither of those blasters were particularly exciting i kept meaning to get around to doing an incisor mod guide you can see i've got all of my nerf uh counterparts out here to kind of compare these two but we will be using the zombie tools montucky toothpick to relinquish them from their cardboard prison why because it's awesome like oh my goodness why wouldn't you use the zombie tools dagger to release the uh the alien menace dagger so we've got those two free now we can set this aside we'll go ahead and put the real steel away before we start flipping things that we ought not be flipping casually now taking a look at this it's very floppy compared to that to the stonewall dagger it's a little bit longer but if you look at the stonewall dagger way less whip you can see that this has got a pretty solid plastic core inside while still protected so it's not flopping however this goes all the way around town so still not a market improvement however i can feel inside there's some sort of probably plastic truth be told i doubt that they'd spring for delrin get it S spring for delrin uh inside the dagger so at ten dollars each these are pretty flimsy they weigh next to nothing now this one has a very chronicles of riddick sort of feel to it uh i i rather like this it still has plenty of room for my hand here you've got about half a fingers width in addition so like super meaty paws maybe not but the uh the that's cool. I like the aesthetic of it a lot. In fact, I like the aesthetic of both of them. I think that they look good. The raised logos are nice. The fact that they have deco on both sides is cool. Like, definitely really interesting additions from a play perspective. You've even got, like, your on hand and your, like, grappler over here with the off hand. You guys can see my grocery list down there. But, uh, this is... Nobody make a jife out of that. Uh, this this is a pretty like aesthetically pleasing. I like they're multicolored. It reminds me much more of the old Enforce. Obviously, the uh, my favorite is the Marauder, which has this kind of almost latex esque coating on the outside and is really really stiff and very durable. Huge shout out to my buddy Chris for getting me a red Marauder. So now I have a red Marauder in awesome shape. So I'm really really happy about that. But uh, these just no comparison the Marauder I think cost 20 United States dollars when it came out these cost 20 United States dollars together now I recognize that we're separated by a good gosh almost seven years there but uh these these just don't compare now the Stonewall dagger was around the same time and if you like were ever to go toe to toe with these like the dagger just obliterates I mean you can hold at a pure parallel there but as soon as you slide one way or the other you'll note that it, it doesn't really matter which hand I have this in like this is just a much stiffer much better core and consequently I think that that means that this would throw better I really don't want to hit my generator so I'll throw them this way but you can see that the the stonewall dagger goes relatively straight and has enough weight to kind of fly a little this kind of flopped out and down and then this I doubt this might be like an okay frisbee <laughs> it's almost worth trying like all right go frisbee x 
that's not bad. So the axe is actually a decent throwing weapon. I would totally allow it at the SCNC just because it doesn't really weigh anything. Like these are very lightweight because of that complete lack of a core. And that makes them relatively nice for throwing. So uh, don't recommend the dagger. The axe aesthetically is so unique and so cool that I actually kind of like it. Do I like it more? than the the claw hatchet not really again this has a much stiffer much better core and therefore grapples and throws better plus it's got like a hook that you can use to grapple and take these things away or you could you used to be able to use it on the the softer vantage swords you could get in and pull but it was a good way to tear these up i don't know uh doing these melee reviews is always tricky because so much of uh, foam combat is subjective and I have some serious personal preferences especially since I used to uh, be our resident sword dancer on Nerf Haven and I was a big believer in Marauders and uh, at the time the Stonewall Daggers. However, nothing has been quite as good since. These are very unique additions. They look really cool, but they're probably not worth $10 each. Maybe the axe. I would highly recommend picking these up on sale as they are prone to do. And I know that I sound like a broken record, but Nerf Blasters and products just keep getting more and more and more expensive. And their cycles are so fast now that you can almost wait. If you're willing to live a few months behind, you can get good deals on pretty much everything. So that's my review of these melee weapons. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and as always, much love. Nerf on Drek out. Uh, uh, uh.